Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. That's right, uh, we actually finished my uh, Pikmin 2 Let's Play not too long ago, but we are actually coming back to this game because we still have the challenge mode to do, and that's basically what I'm going to be doing for my next weekend project, just focusing on the challenge mode and uh, trying to complete all the different maps. Now in Pikmin 1, the challenge mode was actually quite different. In that game... Uh, basically, what you had to do is you had to play through all of the maps that were in Pikmin 1, so Forest of Hope, Impact Site, Forest Naval, Distant Spring, Final Trial, etc. You had to play through all those maps, and in each map you got scored based on how many Pikmin you actually produced during the day. In this game, it's more of a treasure collecting a thon. So we have about, uh, let's see, we have five, uh, we have 30 challenge mode maps. And we're going to play through all of them. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing through one per day. But if one map takes me uh, less than ten minutes, then I'll actually upload a second one for that day. So if this takes me like nine minutes and thirty seconds, for example, uh, I'll upload this one as well. But if it takes any longer than ten minutes, it'll just be that map for that day. So that is how I'm going to handle this. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the Explorer's Cave. Gonna be doing a one-player challenge. You can actually do co-op for this if you get a second player in on the action, but I do not want to do that. I want to handle the challenges all by myself. I think I can do it. This game is not too hard, in all honesty, so I think I should be able to handle it. So, on each floor, you're given a time limit. Uh, on this floor, we have 100 seconds. And basically what we have to do is we have to collect as many treasures as we can. And whenever you get the key, which is actually in that chamber across from where we are, uh, the key will actually unlock the next floor. Now, the time limit, it actually resets every floor, so it's not like we have 100 seconds to finish the entire cave or anything like that. It's a lot more generous than that. But yeah, that's essentially what we're going to do. I don't think we have any white Pikmin, so I don't think there are going to be any hidden treasures or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're all ready to go to the next floor, so... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> that was a very short one. Looks like there will probably be a second video today just for this one. And how short it is, but that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. And here's sub-level 2. Now, hopefully they're a little more tricky with this floor, instead of, they didn't really give us any enemies on the last one. But, there will be enemies, as you can see right now. In this case, we have Bulborbs, which, eh, that's not going to be a threat. Just take them out. Oh, we have a big one, too. Well, that's fine. We can deal with that as well. And you're also given a set number of sprays for, um each cave as well, so we can just easily use the sprays on this big guy over here and just take him out really, really easily. First, though, we are going to take out the little guys, though. It just makes the most sense to me. And I'm not going to worry about using any of my uh, bitter sprays. I'll just use a spicy spray. And yeah, of course, he has the key. Usually the big enemies have the keys, but sometimes you'll find, you know, it won't always be the case. And naturally you're also going to want to grab the enemy bodies because they can also increase your score as well. Okay, I have a feeling like I... Oh wow, I didn't put enough over there. Well, that's fine. Grab those, we'll grab you. And oh, I lost all of my spicy spray. That's lame. Oh well, the spicy spray did indeed help. Taking out that big behemoth, although, eh, spotty bulbarbs have never really been that challenging to fight. Also, yeah, let's see what's in these things. I can't imagine. Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be nectar. Any other eggs? Okay, yeah, we have this one over here. 
Oh god, these guys. Well, we can't really do much with these guys because we don't have any purples, so that's fine. There could be something we could do, though. I just can't think of what that would be. Let's see, do we get everything, or are we pretty good to go? I think we're good to go, so yeah, let's grab the key and finish up this very first challenge mode map. I think we're going to get as perfect as we can get as a score. Again, probably something we could do with those uh, tights, but I'm not going to worry about that. And naturally, for the uh, last... Um, well, in this case, the geyser. You do have to actually turn on the geyser, so keep that in mind when you're going through that. You could always run into a case where, basically, um, you don't go fast enough, and the uh, you might run out of time while you're fixing the geyser. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, we actually got a high score. That works. So yeah, you also get a time bonus as well, so the faster you do it, the better your time bonus is going to be, so... Another thing to keep in mind. But yeah, that is the uh, first challenge map. I'll see you guys in just a minute for the second one, because there was no way in hell that was ten minutes, so... Be back in just a second.